What's up guys, Stefan here from App Stuff. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be going over how to find the most common element in an array. So a real world, real world example of this would be if you had some super large data set that contained different elements like names, numbers, whatever it may be, and you needed to find the most common element in that data set, um, this algorithm is gonna help us do that. So let's go ahead and get started with a new playground. Hit next. I'm gonna call this most common element. Make this bigger and let's get started. So um, go ahead and delete those two lines of code, guys. I actually have um, an array of colors um, written out here already. You guys can pause the video and make it just like that if you want. It um, doesn't have to be carbon copy. Um, just get some array of strings together. Then we're going to create a function called most common element, parenthesis in array, array. And it's going to look like this. We're going to return a string. And that string is going to be optional, guys, um, simply because the user might uh, pass in an empty array or uh, something that uh, would cause an error in our code if we did not make this optional. So let's go ahead and uh, make a variable for our result and make that optional and then return our result. Okay. So this is, uh, if you guys don't understand what optionals are, I recommend looking that up. But essentially, this just allows us to say, return either a string, and if that string is never set, then return nil. So now let's go over what we need to do. So we do need to loop through this array. So we're going to be writing a for loop for that, right? So we can uh, do this little shortcut that Swift has here and say array dot for each and hit enter on this block. And we can just say element. And for now, let's just go ahead and say print color is element. And let's go ahead and just run our function, most common element in array, and pass in that colors array that we made. Hit play. And you notice we get um, our colors printed out. All right, so we are able to su successfully iterate through this array. Now we need to create a means of keeping track of how many times each element appears, right? And we're gonna be using a dictionary for that. And for those of you who don't know what a dictionary is, it's essentially just a data structure that contains a key and a value, right? So let's go ahead and create that right now and explain how we're gonna use it in just a second. So var dictionary equals string and int. So our keys are going to be our colors and our int is going to, this integer value or, or, or the value for each key is going to be how many times each one of these keys appears, right? So um, this is what that's going to look like. And we need to initialize this dictionary. So um, we need to check and see if um, a count exists for the key. Um, in this uh, dictionary here. So we're going to say if let count equals dictionary element. And then we're going to say else. So I'll explain this logic here right now, guys. So we uh, inside of this for loop, let's say we get to red, right? It's going to ask us if there, uh, if a count or an, an integer value exists for that key. And right now it doesn't because we haven't set a value for that key yet. And uh, so it's gonna hit this else block, right? And this is where we wanna set that key value. So set a key value pair. So we're gonna say dictionary element equals one, okay? So essentially what we are saying here is um, this element, in this case it would be red, we're now setting a value for that key. So it's setting red as a key and then one as its value, right? And then it's gonna do the same thing for green on the next iteration of the loop, same thing for blue. And once it gets to red again, this if block is now gonna get hit, right? Because this count or that value exists for that key red. Okay, so then it's gonna store whatever that value is in this count variable. In this case, it's one, right? So now we just wanna increment that count up by one. So we're gonna say dictionary element 
equals count plus one. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's add a couple print statements here and run our function so we can really see what's going on in our console. So we're gonna say print um, found key and incremented value by one. And here we're gonna say print set key and value in dictionary. Okay, so now let's run this. Okay, so let's see. It started at red, and then it said, okay, we hit this else block here. So it set the key and value in the dictionary. And then it did that for green and blue. And then it hit red again, and then it hit that if block there. So it found the key and incremented value by one. So let's actually, now that we can see what, uh, and then it did the same thing for red again, blue, blue, and blue, right? So... Now, uh, let's actually print out our keys and values so you guys can see what this is looking like. So we're gonna say print um, color is element, or we can just go like this, and then we can say uh, count is dictionary, element. So if this uh, like notation has been unclear, guys, anytime you say dictionary and then uh, this open close bracket with the element in there, that gives us the associated value for that key, right? And then let's do the same thing here. Go ahead and run our code. Okay, so uh, first it got there and it said the count is nil and then we set it to one, right? So this line of code ran first and then it got set to one and then the same for green and the same for blue. Now it's saying, okay, now we ran into red again. The count is one and then we increment it. So actually let's put these underneath those guys. Okay, so first time it gets to red, the count is one. And then the second time it gets to red, the count is two. And then you notice it gets to red up here again, and the count becomes three. And then blue goes to two, three, and four. So that's what's happening there, guys. Um, I hope that's clear as to what's going on. Um, now what we need to do is find a means of um, returning the most common element, right? So that's what this is going to look like. We're going to say four. Actually, let me print out the dictionary so you guys can see what that dictionary looks like now once it's finished this uh, for loop. So green one, blue four, red three, right? That's what it's looking like. So now we need to go through the keys and values of this dictionary and find the one with the highest number. So we're gonna create a variable that says uh, max, that's the max number, and set it equal to zero. Then we're gonna loop through those keys and values in our dictionary, in dictionary. And we're gonna ask uh, if the value is greater than the uh, max, right? Then we wanna say max equals value and result equals key. Now uh, we can run this and we're gonna get blue as our return value, right? Because blue was the, uh, the, num the, the value that appeared most in the array. So let me print out the dictionary again and explain exactly what's going on there and that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So um, we are looping through this dictionary and we're looking at the key and the value for each element in the dictionary. So this is the first element in the dictionary second element, third element, and each element contains a key and a value, right? So we have this variable to keep track of our max uh, count. So we get to blue, and then it says, okay, our key is uh, blue, our value is four. 
So if value is greater than max, and right now four is greater than the max, so then it sets the maximum value equal to that value there. So now the max is equal to four, and the result that we want to return is equal to the associated key for this particular index in the dictionary. So on the second iteration, it's going to get to red. So key is red, value is three. And remember, the max count is now uh, four. So it's not going to hit this if block, right? Because uh, three is not greater than four, so it's not going to return any of this stuff, and it keeps our uh, maximum value um, as four, and that associated key is blue. And then once it's done looping through that dictionary, it returns that result. So uh, to give you an idea of what that looks like, print uh, max or not max value. Let's just say that so we can see that getting hit. Right, so um, that's what happens when that value is not less than the, or that is sort of the else block for this logic is hit. So uh, we don't need that there, but that's uh, gonna be it for this video, guys, I hope. Um, I did a good job of explaining that to you. Um, that's a, is the one way of finding the most common element in, array, in an array. We just use the dictionary, loop through the array, and then uh, set up, uh, configured our dictionary here, and then loop through that dictionary and found the highest, uh, the, high, the, the maximum value for the associated key, and then returned that key. So uh, if you like the way I teach, if you like the stuff I'm posting, please hit the subscribe channel and help me grow this thing, guys. It's much appreciated. Any feedback and criticisms are much appreciated. Hope you liked the video, and there's a lot more stuff to come. Have a good one. Peace out.